What's up everybody? Today we are gonna harvest a bunch of peaches because there's so many peaches that, um, well, if I don't pick them now, they're gonna just start going bad on the tree. So I got my bowl here and I have, take a look at this. This branch is about to break off because it's got so many peaches and they're all starting to ripen. So what I'm gonna do is take each one that feels soft and start getting, take these off. What I'm gonna do is also is um, cut these up and put them in the freezer because that'll be a way to preserve them then I can make smoothies out of them. Oh, look how juicy that one is. If you don't get them, get them early enough then they're just gonna go bad on the tree. So as soon as you feel any softness, that means it means it's time to ripe to a pick. So I'll probably pick probably like 50, maybe 50 or so peaches right now. And um, I'll slice them up and put them in my freezer. So I'm gonna go through this whole tree and just figure out which ones are the softest. Again, I've been eating at least five, maybe 10 a day for the last couple weeks and um, it's been increasing day by day. And they happen to be ripening all at the same time. Or not all of them, but I think it's been about three weeks since I've been harvesting. So this is three weeks into it and I, you can still see how many there are. Oh, that's a big juicy one there. See, a lot of these are already almost too ripe. I'm not even counting right now. I think we're up to 20, but... See, some of these, look at that one, actually got a hole eaten right through it. That's not good. I'll throw that one out. See, this is what happens when you don't keep up with it. That's a nice, fat, big one right there. Nice one. So, again, I can do this all evening. Sweet picking. I'm going to have to get some more bowls. So I'll probably, again, I'll probably pick like 50 of them. I just keep feeling ones that are ripe and they're just, they just don't stop. And you can also pick them a little harder too if you like them a little more crisp, which, which I do as well. I don't like them too soft and soggy. So you really have to be on it. I mean, you, if you wait, you just forget about it for a couple days. Peaches will start ripening up too much, and it's just too late. Uh, nothing worse than having to throw away, throw away perfectly good peaches. Look at that! How many we got now? I think that's like 20, at least. Uh, So if anybody lives in San Diego and you guys want some peaches, just give me a, a ring or comment in the comment section below. This one's crisp. That's just about right. Watch me put my finger in it. Just a little dent. I like it like that where it's just firm. So a lot of these are too ripe right now. So I'm really behind schedule. I got to get these in the freezer. They'll be great for doing smoothies and they'll last a long time. In a few weeks in the freezer, I'll be able to eat them over the next few weeks. Just keep making smoothies and put these nice organic peaches to use.
So I'm literally gonna go through every peach on this tree and if, in, if anything is ripe, I'm pulling it off right now. A lot of these are real close. I just don't wanna pull too many off. That one's ripe. Gosh, so we got some serious, serious harvest going here. Just so many I can't keep up with. See, if you wait too long, ants or bugs will start eating it. Then you just lose all of it. And, and sometimes you can see here too, they'll eat it right from the top. They'll eat a hole right through the top in the middle. I think ants have been eating this, but I could probably cut some of that out and still use it. That peach, but. So I'm really getting some weight off this tree now. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, these ants have been a problem in my garden in the last month or so. They're starting to be invasive eating my plants, eating my fruit. The ants will crawl, crawl all the way up the tree and, and smell out that sugary fruit and those sweet peaches. These are some fat ones right here, look at that. Twist. That's a nice one. So again, I'm getting every single peach because I cannot waste any more peaches right now. Starting to get soft. Oh yeah. Put those ones away over there. I think what do we got so far? How many do we have? I think we got like 40 of them. Again, this is the um, Florida Prince peach. Growing here in San Diego, I'm right near the beach. Just You can see over there, there's some wind. That's actually an ocean breeze. I live pretty close to the beach. And these peaches are growing right, right here next to the ocean. Salty air. very warm climate so this is a type of peach that can handle very warm climate we're here in zone 10 10 b which is the coastal region of california that's our climate is everything pretty much right along the coast is zone 10 b and it's very warm at the coastline it never freezes it never gets very cold that's what's very unique about the coastline is it only drops to a certain temperature and that's actually makes it difficult to grow certain peaches because you have to have that the freeze number of freeze hours um, per year. I think it's like 200 in this zone. Oh, this is looking crazy. Look at that. One day's harvest, and I've already been harvesting for. Like I said, it was um, three weeks now, I think. Uh, I, sh I can probably leave some of these. I don't want to overdo it, but those are just still all fir some fairly firm, but I can probably still pick those ones. There's another one. All right. All right, folks, well, I think you got the idea. You should be growing this peach tree and I'll kind of follow the, the steps that I take for growing it. Make sure you give them tons of different organic nutrients, heavy watering, compost teas, um, a good mulch layer beneath. It's another big one. 
see down here you got a nice big mulch layer always keeping mulch covered covering your plants a lot of water deep soakings and the hole was dug fairly big with a lot of nutrients put in too when I planted this tree so anyway folks we we'll hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and watching the sun go down and what I will do is take all of these peaches inside start slicing them up and I'm gonna put them in the freezer get rid of the, the, the seeds put them in the freezer and then individually like little bags so I can just drop them in my smoothie blender frozen um, peaches so all right, folks, thought you enjoy this, so get out there and grow some peaches and either give them away or put them in the freezer or you can jar them up. Lots of things you can do, but don't let them go to waste on the vine, that's for sure, because before you know it, they will be rotting or eaten by bugs. Oh, there's another one. Just can't seem to stop. So anyway, guys, I'm, I'll continue this. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, click like, uh, comment below, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Oh gosh, there's another one. It just doesn't stop. Forty peaches I just picked. Delicious, juicy peaches straight from my garden so this weighs probably 25 pounds I'm actually barely able to hold this up and uh, film this at the same time because my arm is uh, weighted down all right see you guys